Thanks for joining us here on Indivisible. I'm your host, John Stubbins. We're here live at CPAC, and I've got my good friend, Mike Lindell. Good Thank to see you, brother. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, we're thrilled to have you because I'm going to tell you, the one thing that we haven't discussed today amongst all the other issues, and there's a ton of them, obviously distraction, 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 but it's time to, because I haven't seen Kerry today, my good friend Kerry Lake, and John Rich isn't here, and you know Kerry and John went out to help Harmie Dillon with her RNC. I know you were doing your RNC, and Ron McDaniel comes out of this thing, really pissed me off. Well, oh, you, I'm gonna, I, I, well, let me tell you something. Uh, and the, the, you know, the day before the Rasmussen polls came out the day before and they had me doubling the other two. OK. And which was fine. Then the then the uh, the next day, obviously, the 168 did not listen to the people. OK. But on that day, I want to set the record straight. Harmi came to my room the day before and said she would not work with me on election integrity and stuff. Now oh, this, no. Yes, 100 percent. So I'm going, you know what? I'm going, I hope Ronna wins instead of you if I don't oh, win. Oh, and no, it's turned out to be good. I'm going to okay. tell you the silver line in here. It's what, this is what God intended to happen. Ronna, was, she had told everyone all week long, she looks forward to working with Mike Lindell. Remember that? Yes. When you work with Mike Lindell, what are you going to work on? Get rid of the machines. Yeah, election, right. Not election integrity. But ele election Smart crime. Man. Election crime. And by the way, I set up the election crime bureau now. Dot com. Um, if my assistant has Thank one of these papers or they're at. Um, but um, I'll show you. I'll, I'll, we can show that in a second. Oh, yes. Um, but the um, and here's what happens. So Rana, if she keeps her word, if you heard my in my speech in there, I said the RNC Rana called all week long. The last couple weeks I've talked to her. She goes, Mike. Uh, I, I want to be good for my word. What can I do? Because the RNC failed only in one big thing. I don't care how much money they waste. I don't care what they do or I mean, how much money they spend on frivolous things. I don't care how much they raise. But I do care about where they, that they didn't do anything for election crime. They didn't right. do anything for the platform. Absolutely. So I told her, I said, I don't need anything but one thing. I don't want the money of the RNC. I want them to endorse the election crime bureau. And here's why. I told her, I said, you endorse this? I said, every time we go into a state, we get blocked by what? Republicans. Yes. We get blocked by, I said, if you endorse us and we get blocked by them 168 going into a state, they better get out of our way because we're going to get our election platforms. We're going to get these machines gone, our voter rolls clean, no more early voting, same day voting. And so we're waiting to see. I announced this this week. And, um, what are you and hearing she, back? And, uh, for what? Just feedback wise. What no, every, well, this is an umbrella over the whole country. I mean, it's this amazing. Is, and this will be covering everything. It's like uh, we're, right now, I'm just, I'm the hub of the wheel. It's basically using things we've already been doing for two years. Yes, sir. And I want to tell you here's an example of what the Republican Party has done to our efforts. And it's always, it seems like it's always Republicans. Oh, and it'll be red states. You go, I go into your Missouri's or your Arkansas's or your Alabama's or your Ohio's. Oh, yeah, we're 65% red. Nothing to see here. We're, our machines are fine. Ain't wrong. Okay, they're all, if they're all corrupt, every, every single one of them. But here's what happened in Arkansas. Cleborne County, Arkansas, everybody, you need to hear this part. Cleborne County, they got courage. In Arkansas, like many states, if I'm a county commissioner, I can just say, you know what? We're not going to use the machines. We're going to do paper ballot hand count. Yes. And by the way, we have developed, this lady named Linda Rant developed the best hand counted system in the world. Better than France, Germany, UK, Netherlands. Better than uh, Louisiana, where they came up with one there. <clears throat> anyway... So we, Cleborne County goes paper. They voted to go vote paper a month ago. Everything's good. All the other counties, I flew into Arkansas, all the other counties, they're meeting with them. They're all going to go a paper, paper to paper. Well, this one Republican, the Senator Kim Hammer. Oh. Okay. Let oh. me tell you what he did. I know who let he me, is. Let me tell you what he did. He put a bill before the Senate. And what the bill says, if you go to paper, we're defunding you, the counties. I think pay, pay, paper. Now that that's guy a, is a scumbag. Yeah. Well, this is what I'm saying. And you have one of these blockers in every state. You got your Robin Voss in Wisconsin, Brad Rasberg in Georgia. I'm tired of going to these states and having to deal with them. We're running out of time. Yes. And we've got to we've got to fix our election platforms. The RNC, they did one thing wrong the last five years. Among there's other things too. Sure. But the biggest thing is they didn't fix the playing fields you're playing on. Imagine you're playing there, everyone's going, gee, I wonder how we 
we lost five elections in a row. Oh, it's because we didn't raise enough money. Eh, wrong. Right, right. It's because you didn't fix the, the get rid of these machines, yes. these computers. We I just talked spoke, about this. Yeah, and I just spoke in there on on that stage after uh, Bolsonaro, President Bolsonaro, and yes, I met with the Bolsonaros. And what happened in Brazil, over 15 million votes were taken in Brazil. Now, let me tell you. They don't have paper, so they're going. Everyone's going. We got to do like the Democrats do, and we got to we got to vote early and ballot harvest. Wrong. The you got to get rid of the machines in Brazil with just the machines. You can just have a little a, a machine with two little lights on it, and then go. You vote, and then and the winner is right. Lula. <laughs> no, they could be hollow. They could be hollow. It don't matter. There's no absolutely oh, no accountability. No, so, no, no. Yeah, well, so that's hey, where we're at. How many times did you and I talk about? Smartmatic and that nonsense, and the whole Smartmatic thing was all over the country. Well, then, Smartmatic, Smartmatic is only in LA County, but 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 all the machines in this whole country, Dominion, we have Dominion, ESNS, all of them, they all have to Texas go. Texas turned down Dominion twice, right? Yeah, but it, it, it doesn't matter. See, this is where you go. Every machine company, ESNS is the biggest one in the country. ESNS, Hart, Diabold, um, Smartmatic. They're all the same, same all deal. of them, all the same deal. If we have machines, we lose our country. Oh there is God. no tomorrow. Yeah, we've there is no tomorrow. We have to melt them down, turn them into prison. Yeah, I know. I'm with you, 100%. Yeah. I, California, aren't you from California? No, sir, Ohio. Weren't you from California originally or no? No, sir. No, oh, you went, okay, no, I got no, it wrong. No, 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 no. Well, no. well in Ohio, okay, then we'll talk about Ohio. I got an example for Ohio. So I go up to Ohio, and you had a guy that was running for, I don't know, Senate or something. And he gets up there and he wanted my endorsement. The first question I ask him, I go, do you, um, I said, do you, um, do you think there was election crime in the 2020 election? And he goes, absolutely, but not here in Ohio. We have the best. Donald Trump won Ohio. I go, e you ain't getting my endorsement. You shouldn't even be run. You should not even be in charge of anything. If you didn't have the, the wherewithal to go out and do the due diligence after the 2020 election, because I've been spewing out evidence for two years, sure. and you're sitting there thinking nothing happened in Ohio. Ohio lost. It was, I don't know, a quarter million votes were stolen in Ohio. It's, yeah, it, it was rampant. You should have said yeah, It was you. rampant. And but this guy, because you know these senator or these legislatures that are in place, if they they're going to be known as either a traitor or a hero, nothing in between. Because if they can't, there's no excuse now. With all the information that's out there, there's no excuse where they can sit back and say, um, "Well, nothing happened here." Don't say anything if you don't know. Right. You, there's a difference. Yes, sir. Don't say anything. I'll give you an example. Larry Elder was running for uh, governor of California. Remember against Newsom? Yes, sir. So Larry, Larry's a friend of mine. And he and he put a statement out. He said, "Yep, Biden won. Fair and square. Biden won. There was no crime." Now, try trying to pull left for left voters, right? Don't talk about election crime. I hammered him in the, in my station or my on my station and my show. Larry calls it went viral all over the place. Larry calls me up. He goes, Mike, why are you attacking me? He goes, he goes, I don't have all the evidence you have. I go, Larry, it's very simple. If you you if apparently you said there was no crime, did you have evidence of that? What and, he, and he said, you're right. I shouldn't have said nothing. I said, you're exactly right. Do anyone out there, if you don't know, either check it out. But if you can't prove it was a, a legal election, then don't be shooting your mouth off. Right, because right. then Larry got his election stole from him. He called me up. He goes, Mike, they stole my election, I think. I go, no way. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Whoa, what a, what a, what a concept. Um, oh, no, that's awesome. Hey, look, I work with, with, obviously, Mike, Kerry, people like that on election fraud stuff. But I've also got my eyes on, still, the Russia hoax, what they did to my friend Carter Page, uh, uh, Roger Stone, General Flynn, people like that, what they've done to Mike, okay? Look. Oh, you know, a lot of that stuff, let me just tell you about when you say what done to Mike. When you see me being attacked in the media, I welcome that. Yes, sir, I know Because that. that's how I get the word out. Absolutely. If they don't call me, I call them. Write an article <laughs> on me. I do. Some of them have gotten to be so good, I have to say, you better bash me a little bit or your boss ain't going to print it. Dare you. <laughs> Seriously. Because you know what no, the biggest right. threat to our country is when you talk about the news. It's not the fake news. It's the Fox News. Fox, Newsmax, Salem Media. Those outlets that won't talk about the election machines and crime. And by them not talking about it, what? And what, look at what they didn't talk about, the vaccines. The, the, with the, they didn't talk about anything that worked other than the vaccine. They were pro-vaccine. 
Ukraine. So they were part of their their censoring is killing our country. Why do you think the, they're doing it? Why do they think they're doing it? Well, they use the excuse lawfare. They're already sued. Well, you know, I've already been sued for eight billion. Put some more on the pile. I don't care. That's the <laughs> dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh, lawfare. And let me tell you, you all see the Dominion case with with. Um, Fox News, it came out that oh, all the hosts said that they, they were spewing this even though they didn't believe it. That's not true. They didn't, they didn't believe it, just like a lot of you all did uh, last November and December of 2020. Tucker sat right on TV and argued with Sidney Paul and said, "I show us this, show us this. Now, two years later, Tucker and the whole world has seen, all cast vote records, all the evidence come out. And what did Tucker say down in uh, Arizona? On the stage in Arizona said, a month ago said, we have to get rid of the computers and machines or we lose our country. Yes. That's what he said. Yes. So the, so what you're doing, what's wrong with Fox, you tell me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, as a, as a, as a they're going to end up trying to fire Tucker. As a Republican precinct chair, um, I'm boots on the ground. What can I do at my level as a precinct chair to, to meet your what you can What you can do, all the precincts, go to, um, this is my new platform, electioncrimebureau.com. Go get educated. Every state, we got stuff going on. You want to get involved, get involved. Underneath that umbrella is the cause of America. That's another one of my platforms. Get involved there. We have the biggest library. We have help. We're going to have a platform put up. If you need help in your county, let's say you need a cyber guy, a lawyer, fund to do something. You, you get vetted. Obviously, the need needs to be vetted. I don't. We're not out to save the wills. We're out to save our country. Absolutely. So the, the need's got to be exactly what we're doing. This is what we're doing. We're saving our country. Country and it's got to be right in line with that. There's no deflection. Everything else is a deflection. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yeah, but anything no. you talk about other than election thing when you're interviewing <laughs> me, I don't care. I understand. I, understand. I don't care. I got you, brother. <laughs> now, now, I will bring this up, North Carolina, because thank God. And by the way, nice question from you, young man. Jim Womack. Uh, Jim Womack, fantastic election integrity guy. What county is he in? Lee County. Lee County, North Carolina. Uh, the, the brother of Steve Womack. That's right. The brother of Steve Womack. I, I won't get into that because he didn't want to talk about other investigations. I'll handle that. With right, 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 right. But Mike would be interested in talking to Jim Womack no, they need about to come, election They need to come to my team. And the, then here's another thing. I hate to keep correcting you. Election integrity is one of the weakest words in the English dictionary. It's election crime. Election crime. Okay, a crime. Election, election crime. integrity goes, oh, let's make stuff a little better. We got election crime. We need to we need to melt down these machines, yes. turn them into prison bars, fix the past, and be proactive going into the future and prevent right. everything right. we can. Everything. Yes. You, tell, you got I just spoke after Brazil and they're the president of Brazil and they've lost their country, everybody. They don't get it back. They took it with machines. Fifty one countries have now been taken with machines. All of South America, gone. Australia, gone. Canada, gone. They don't get to go back from socialism and communism up there. You think they're, you think Trudeau's going to say, let's get rid of those voting machines that started in Canada in 1998. It keeps them in power. Gonna, yeah, it keeps them in power. They're right, not going to do it. Right. And then you say, well, you know, there's there's Republicans. These are Republicans ones and these. Remember, everybody, who did this to our country? The, here, I'm going to tell you who did it. The Democrats warned for two decades to get rid of the machines. Amy Klobuchar, Kamala, right. they, all, they all voted to, or wanted to get rid of them. That's now, right. here's what took our country. Here's what we're up against. The CCP, number one, and I'm going to have within this month coming out that shows through the PCAPs I have, what you're, you're hearing it for 100% China intrusion in the 2020 election. There'll be no doubt. But here's CCP, the Uniparty, Party, everybody remember that, the Uniparty, Party, the Globalists, and the Deep State, those four. Just so happened, now the Republicans got in there, now you have a five of cabal that's just bigger. And all of a sudden they go, hey, we like this little cabal. So everyone that says, if you think you're going to get your country back by watching Fox News and Biden falling down the steps and going, oh, look at that, he can't talk. You ain't going to get your country back that way. Those are distractions. Let me tell you about one of the... Falling up the stairs. Let me tell you about one of the biggest distractions. And these guys are marketers, everybody. Here is one of the biggest marketing things ever. I want you all to put your head around this. Remember, remember Afghanistan? Yes, sir. In Afghanistan... It was the whole world was watching on Biden going, what did you do? Everyone in the world was upset and especially the United States. Now, what happened 10 days later? You all forgot about it. Did you know that all of you did? You know what happened 10 days later? 
They did, I, if I was gonna do this, the, the best marker in the world was Goebbels for Hitler. This, here's what they did. 10 days later, they, Biden got up and he put, they put, brought him up to the podium, put the prompt there, he said, if you have 100 people in your company, you need to take a shot. Remember that? Yes. Everyone in the world went, no, we're not. You forgot about Afghanistan, didn't you? Because right. this was way more important at that time. That They're great marketers, everybody, oh. and you've got to keep your eye. We Anyone that tells you, this is another thing, I want to get the word out here. Anyone that says, let's do what the Democrats do. Let's vote, let's vote early and ballot harvest. You do that, you lose your country. I'm trying to educate them all. And if you hear it coming out of even your great President Trump, I haven't talked to him. He, you, this is, we will lose our country if we do that. And there's a lot of reasons why. If you, it's harder for them to steal if we don't get rid of these machines on, on the, on game day. They steal it all early with names on voter rolls. Also, everything we're doing in this country to get, to get same day voting, the, the, all the legislature would go, well, if we're going to do that, let's make ballot harvesting legal. It's illegal in most states. They would make it legal and we lose everything. Everything yes. my people, everyone's been fighting for. So we can't do that. And you need to tell anyone that argued, we're just going to do it. And they're saying this two years early. Why do you think they're putting the narrative out two years early? Because they want to get it in your head that we're going to do that. Right. We can't do that. There's only one thing you can do to save your country. Get rid of the computers and, and get rid of the early voting. Get rid of the clean up the dirty voter rolls. I'll tell you one last thing. On the RNC, when I was there. So the 168, they're, most of them, they're misconstrued, just like a lot of people are. I mean, oh yeah, how do we lose these elections? How do we lose these? I told them, I said, there's two things. In the RNC, for seven months, their Gmails were going into spam. Google, crooked Google was hitting a computer and putting them into spam. Okay, every month went by, they go, well, maybe something will change. The, the lawyers for the RNC that don't even have a clue, they go, well, maybe something will change. So all their hard efforts, by a push of a button, their fundraising went into spam. This went on for months, and nobody did anything. Rana actually said, hey, we need to do something. She's arguing with her own lawyers. You know, arguing with her own lawyers. We can't go after Google, the lawyer said. She goes, well, what are we going to do? Our ship is sinking. If they didn't go after them, they wouldn't have to worry about whether anybody supports them or not because they wouldn't have a dime because they couldn't even get the message out. So here's what I told all them RNC. Finally, Rana said, I'm doing it anyway. She went after Google. Now, everybody listen up. Google came back and said, oh, we found it. Um, it was a programming error that they were all going into spam. Now, I ask you this. What's the difference of that when you put all these efforts into campaigning, billions of dollars, all your efforts to go to go out and campaign and resources and put money into candidates if they're just going to steal it with one click of a button? Right. That's it. Right. That's reality. That's yeah. where we're at. Absolutely. And by the way, folks, I think everybody here would agree. Just simple statement. What was wrong with paper ballots? Anybody? What was wrong with paper ballots, nothing. What do we do now? Do we, do? we need to insist. What's that? What's that? Go to your, here's your action. Go to electioncrimebureau.com. Spread that everywhere. That's my platform. It goes over everything. Their cause of America is on there. All these, you can reach out. We'll tell you what you do. I need that voice. You all need to spread that. I will instruct every single state, every single county, because they're all different. If you live in Oregon, it's a lot different there than a state of Missouri. In Oregon, it's pure crime. They take it right off the board. They take it right off the board. There's no state like Oregon. Oregon is pure crime. They take it right off the voter rolls and you register you automatically when you can drive. Okay. So they take the motor vehicle rolls and there's no same day voting. It's all mailed in. There's nobody votes there. It's just all crime. Boom. What it is. Motor voter. Yeah, That's right. Yeah, motor That's right. But again, here it is. Here it is. The election crime bureau right there. But again, right there. I got to get going though. I got to yeah, get to my one day. more thing. Just wait. Really Look, I want to just reiterate this because it's that important. What Mike's bringing up yeah. again, election crime, crime bureau. Bureau. Dot com. Just go check it out. And, it, and you guys take it and get the website and put it on. Don't stay on one social media platform. This is very important. If you're on Suckabuck's Facebook or you're on My Frank Social or the President True Show, Getter, Gab, Cloud Hub, get an account on all of them. And when we put something out, put it out on all of them. Yes, there's, an old, there's an old thing back in the day. There's an old thing. 
an old saying back to the day on a commercial. It said, and it was a shampoo commercial. It said, and they tell two friends, and they tell two friends, and so on, and so on. This is what you all have to do. Take the content we're going to give you from the bureau and spread it everywhere. And then you'll, and then you will know what to do in your county. Every state's different and we will have, it's, it's right there. With, it's right there for you to look what you can do. Because, and, and besides, praying's always good too. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. One question yeah, right here. Go. One question. Thank you for everything, Mike. About, about four years ago, okay, near the Washington Convention Center, they had a blockchain and cryptocurrency convention. At this CPAC year, 2023, there's a guy named Randy Schwartz. He's trying to employ blockchain voting technology in the upcoming elections. If you want election integrity, that's one of the ways to do it, isn't it? No, there's no, there's the time, that technology, we've looked into it. You only, there's no transparency. People aren't going to believe it now, any transparency. You have to bring trust back to No, there's no time, and I still wouldn't trust that. It's a machine. It's a, it's the internet. It's yeah. not, you know, it's blockchain. Let's but, stick uh, with it but again. They, but they, but once again is, um, could it be, if, if you looked at it, I don't know. I thought the simple as but it will never be put in place in time. All these states have That's laws. Right. All these states have laws in place right now where they can just do one thing. And that not switch to that. That would t- they can do one thing. They'll drop the machines for paper ballots. Most yes. states, it's right in their constitution. Uh, you guys, we do have the My Pillow 2.0 or 2.0, My Pillow 2.0, the best pill in 20 years. We've improved on the best sleep ever, and use that promo code Invisible. Indivisible. 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 Yes, sir. And if you use that, it's a buy one get one free.